Hi everyone, it's 23rd of June, I'm down the allotment to uh, pick some more broccoli spears. Uh, some of my cauliflower is ready, you know, whether I take some or not, I don't know yet. A um, few more of my onions have uh, had a bit of a problem, so it kind of looks a bit like this. There's another three that have gone like this. So, well, this one's got roots on it. There's no signs of like holes in it, so, or miners or anything like that. It's just the tops are just, just dying. You know, I've lost another one in the back garden as well. But uh, it's, uh, it tends to be rotting more of the actual onion itself. Right, the, the, the basil plate, the base plate of it. It smells very vinegary, so it's not really the most uh, pleasant thing to sniff, but. So, I don't know what to do. I'm not gonna pull them all out. Um, I'm just gonna keep, because they're starting to bulk a bit now, so I'm hoping I'll at least get some. Um, so I've lost six originally, so you know, it's, it starts to add up. You know, you think there's probably another three or four weeks till these are ready, so how many more am I gonna lose? So I'll, I'll just bear with it for now. If it starts getting a bit drastic, then I'll have to pull them and uh, salvage what I can that's decent and chop and freeze what, you know, what's um, not gonna store. Well, I say there's three of these, but uh, I'll get the camera and we'll have, a, we'll have a look around, see how everything else is doing. Oh. Now, I've had a bit of a tidy out in the corner. I've taken a load of the membranes and all sorts out of that because that side is finished now, compost. It's just years old. So I'm going to cap it off so I've, I've got a fresh pile because as I'm going to start harvesting stuff, I need somewhere to put all the junk. Um, so there's a mouse in there and all sorts before. So it's just full of a lot of stuff. I've got to take some stuff home to sort through, bits of netting. But membrane, it's all frayed and that's so I need to sort through that at some point. So some flowers, they're still standing. I've, just got, I've not got a strap or anything, I haven't got any proper supports for putting a bit of string around it, but it's just so they can sway about a bit, just so they'll get a decent trunk on them. Uh, that one's doing all right. My mum's sweet peas, all flowers there, okay. These uh, volunteer nasturtions are doing pretty good, but that sunflower isn't doing very good. Um, strawberries started to get some like bust of uh, fresh growth because of the rain and everything. These peas, peas, the uh, cobra French beans, they're struggling a bit to, to actually wrap around. They keep getting it by wind. Um, but they have grown, there's a few start, you know, starting with flowers on. I don't really want to start starting podding yet. But uh, we'll, we'll see how they go. Blueberries, there's a couple that have started ripening, not so many. Um, that bush in the corner has splayed out quite a bit. So um, it's just down to the, the growth being quite uh, quite a flimsy branch, a lot of top, top growth on it. So I need to, you know, maybe prune them back a little bit, the ends. Or just as, as stuff grows next year, just get rid of some spindly branches. Um, these strawberries perking up a bit now, starting to flower. But they're actually sending out, you can see there, runner as well. I'll probably take some runners off these this year and then uh, sort of uh, relocate the strawberries next year. Don't know where yet. Oh, Mrs. has been uh, picking some peas. There's green shaft. So they're just starting to come ready now. Well, there's plenty to go at over the next couple of weeks because I've sown some more in gutters. Um, the peas are quite small actually. I got them from a different seed supplier, but we'll see how they go. So there's another one of them uh, onions just there. They're just random. They're not in any sort of gathering or anything. But they're from seed. Like I say, it's just, it's at the bottom. Just, just rotting at the bottom. 
So that's a shame, but uh, I usually do okay for onions. But uh, you can't have it always, I guess. Well, the mayor might as well pull this other one out without falling on the bed. Same again. See. It's a bit firmer that one, but it's just like the, it's not going to come to anything with the top down like that, even though it's got a fresh growing spike in the middle. So I'll save it spreading to everything else. It's supposed to be mildew resistant, these. I need to pick off some of the. Uh, Obviously the, the, the spent foliage is laying flat, I'll ground and pull them off after I'll have a clear up. I'm trying to keep it fairly clean. But the rest of the top growth seems, you know, relatively healthy in that. Sweet corn. Having a bit of a weird thing. Plants at the back. They're nice and green. And these have gone really yellow. I've no seaweed with me, so I've, I've got to actually give them a spray with some Epsom salts. Um, I've never had them do that before, but uh, we'll just see how they go. The only thing I can think of, you see, it does get flooded this bad by whatever's in that manure heap, and you know, if it's had bad manure in and it's seeped into the ground, and it's possible, but it doesn't seem to have affected my garlic. Um, I've sprayed that with Epsom salts because it is a little bit yellow in places, but uh, no signs of rust yet. It's kind of like just a bit of tip burn, I guess. Um, so we'll just uh, see how they go. They should start toppling in a couple of weeks. Spuds, I've just got to get in there and give them another spray. Uh, I might dig one up over there, I don't know. I'm, I've been having a poke. It shouldn't do really, but I've been having a poke to have a look in. There's some nice little new potatoes in there. don't know how many though. And here we are at the cauliflower. Most of it is ready, you know, that's a good five or six inch head. Not massive heads, but nice and tight, not full of holes. That's probably one of the bigger ones, probably getting up for about seven inch that. You know, there's one in the middle there that's not actually opened yet. Um, most of them have opened, I think there's just uh, one in the corner there that's not opened either. Apart from that, I'm tempted to just harvest them and uh, sort of quit while I'm ahead before the slugs come in. The other ones aren't ready to come up yet, it'll be another week or two. I've just uh, put the old drinking straws on the stems at home and they'll be coming up. Um, same as the broccoli and all the cabbage and that. But uh, another, I don't know what you can see, but they're, they're, they're all side shoots. So. These will stay in and we'll keep cropping the side shoots until I'm ready to put the uh, replacements out because I'm doing the quills again. Cabbage, more slug holes, they're not too bad. I'll probably take that one and that one today, I think. A uh, couple of courgettes, sulking a bit, but I've got some roots in now, I think they're starting to put a bit of fresh growth out in the middle. Celery is growing. That one's looking a bit dodgy, but uh, just see how that one goes. More peas here, these will probably come ready about three weeks time I should imagine. Spring onions, um, took some last week so I'm going to take some more tonight. I'm going to try and twist out the bigger ones if I can, but I'll probably, probably just pull in a bunch. Beetroot, I'll just try and move you down here to see. Beetroot is, uh, let's pull one out, try to, that's, for me that's, that's big enough, that's bolt hardy that, so I've got some beets to uh, thin out along there, try and get them before they go woody, yeah I don't, that size is alright, when they get, start getting big, you know they get a bit woody, you can grow them bigger like, but I just want them small because it's only really me that eats it. So that's it for a bit of a look round. So I'll do some harvesting and we'll uh, have a look at the harvest when I'm done. Before I start, I couldn't resist. I thought, oh, sod it. I'll dig uh, one or two plants up. These are the Duke of Yorks. I can't remember when I planted them. I think it was around um, sort of second, third week of April. So they've not had the full term yet, not quite. I think they're, they'll probably be ready 
12th of July, I think I worked it out. So it's a bit early, but there'll be some on them. Not much, but it's enough for a meal, hopefully. Because uh, it's, you know, it's nice to have some without having blight everywhere for a change. I'm just going to go in, cut the tops off. So these are just the standard Duke Yorks, not the red Duke Yorks or anything. Get these tops out of the way. Take that off. I'll take, I'll dig two up. I'm not expecting massive ones, but enough for a meal will do. Tops out of the way. And compost heap after, and uh, let's see if there's much there. Split, which is a good sign. There's the original sea potato. Not massive, but in the first early, so that's uh, good enough for me. You know, there's lots of little tiny things in here that are probably got a little bit bigger. You know, when you've got 100 odd plants to go out, I'm not too fussed. This one. And then there's sea potato at the bottom. Yeah, I think another another week I can just crack on with these I think. So I've got the jazzies and the charlottes and that. I'm not going to bother weighing them around because I ain't got my weighing scales here, but there's ample enough for a meal. Not masses, but there's enough. We've got 26 of these plants along here, so that's just two. Also make it easier to start going on this side and halves in the peas. So this row will be emptied pretty soon. But, I'll do a little reveal there. So I'll crack on and start to harvesting some stuff and we'll have a look at the harvest.
massive, but it'll do. Well, that's all the harvesting done for today. Um, like I said, got a few of the uh, Duke York potatoes, Earth Green Shaft peas, Bolt Hardy beetroot. These are Ishikura, White Spring onions. These are Blood, uh, yeah, Blood Red Holland spring onions. The cabbage at the back are Golden Acre or Prime or two. Um, the broccoli is Equeels, Calabrese. Uh, the cauliflower is Clapton. And the, there's me uh, mum's Hilda's mixed sweet pea, mixed with a bit of asparagus fern. So uh, not a not a bad harvest at all. I'm, I'm quite happy with that to be honest. You know, you do get things that don't go to plan, but as long as you get something like that, you can't grumble, and you can get something like this. Just in all it costs you a bit of your time. You know, and at uh, times like this, with all this sort of COVID going on, it uh, it does help a lot. You know, so it keeps you busy, and. Uh, it's all healthy as well. So uh, that's it. I'm just going to get on, spray my uh, potatoes of blight and then uh, head off home and uh, start blanching things. Probably I'll do it tomorrow, probably, and podding peas and that. Deal with there. Uh, because I, I tend to grow more in my veg for. Um, I have some, you know, obviously in the, in, in the summer months, but it's a lot of salad I eat now, and a lot of this is, is for the uh, through the winter months, you know, and. Um, so hopefully when I plant the next lot, that'll be uh, a September harvest, September, October harvest, fingers crossed. Um, but we'll just play that one by ear. Um, you know, because there's going to be little hiccups along the way between now and then. Um, you know, there's always something that, that has a bit of a problem. Um, so we'll just deal with that as, as, you, as you come across them, really. So uh, thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll see you next time. Bye.